As an entrepreneur, I live by the rules outlined in two books. The first book is Think and Grow Rich, and the second book is The Organized Mind. And uh, Think and Grow Rich is really, you can boil it down to a couple things. A, that, and this may be the biggest of them all, is that your the mind is what's always in the way. Uh, and the second one, and that, that can be applied anywhere. It doesn't have to be, it's not just entrepreneur stuff. Um, it's, it's the, it's, you know, it's being in an empty office. You know, late at night, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's eating healthy. That was a big thing in that book was eating healthy. So it's not taking away from your day-to-day -day ability to create, uh, your day-to-day -day ability to be on point and to produce and put out, put forth a great effort and pro put forth a great product. Uh, and then crossing right over, uh, because I want this video to be about uh, the organized mind, because what they, what they really talk about here, and, and I've mentioned this in a lot of different posts and videos and podcasts, but the, the big takeaway for me in that book was that everything that you do has a cognitive, physical, cost and by that what I mean by that is if you if I'm scrolling through Twitter scrolling through Facebook every tweet every Facebook has a cost to it it is taking valuable resources out of my brain anything that is coming in any input coming in has to be processed and that there's physical resources and physical energy that have to be used up in order to do that and what do I want to spend my energy on is a big freaking deal especially living in New York City when so much stir so many people out there so many products out there advertisements the noises that are competing for my attention and my energy I need to be very selective I need to be very intentional with what I'm giving my attention and energy too uh, and I think that's just a really big deal I'm at the point now where I'm on the subway and I'm just looking down and I'm trying to think about my breathing so that I'm not giving the attention to all of the distractions that are around me because I'm putting so much value on my energy and my ability to produce content and my ability to produce uh, products for my for my work and for my business uh, that I just can't afford to let the homeless man on the side of the street uh, take my energy away from me. I'm trying to uh, channel all of my resources and energy uh, into into what I need it to be used for. Uh, so I think these two books are a really good resource for anybody in any field to just understand and understand how you can a uh, what your body needs to do in order to be successful uh, in anything and then and then back to the organized mind it, it, how are you going to make sure that your body is being as efficient as possible how your mind is going to be e as efficient as possible and I love that book because they take so much actual neuroscience and boil it down to the practical world that's why I have this note this this book right now uh, which is my planner because so much of what they talk about is getting everything out to the physical reality and taking the thoughts out of your head so you don't have to use it, waste space, waste resources on it. Um, so I think those two books are are must reads for anybody and uh, you, I, I could not recommend them more.